Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Can you hear me? I just realized I have my microphone way across the room. <laughs> I'm not very prepared today. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to talk today about um, sorting your inbox. And I was just doing a little more research because I happen to use Mac Mail and it makes things really easy. I just sort. I click in my list of incoming emails and I can click on view and then sort by and date or from and it groups things together. So I can process just what came in today, just what came in yesterday. Um, I can sort by flags if I have flagged some things and I can sort by who things are from, which I find particularly helpful because... The number of duplicate offers, reminders, FYI information that arrives in our inboxes every single day, it's getting out of hand and it can quickly become overwhelming. And when you sort by who it's from, you can see all the latest versions and it's usually stuff pertaining to the thing you signed up for or the information you were seeking. And it puts all those reminders right next to each other. So you can do a quick compare contrast in terms of um, what the most up-to-date information about that is. And it allows you to make quick decisions. If you have a chunk of emails that are all about the same thing and you've decided you're not doing it, you can quickly delete them all. If it's something you are interested in and are already signed up for, you can quickly delete all but one copy of the information. Um, and if it's something that needs to be unsubscribed from because you've it's gotten away from you, a newsletter you signed up for perhaps that's just no longer getting read regularly, you can do that too by having all the things next to each other. It allows you to do it in chunks, which can be really helpful when you're overwhelmed. The biggest problem is that you can't do this in Gmail. They um, have a few other tricks that I suggest you learn. Um, I am not as familiar because even my Gmail, I read in mail. So um, what it does allow you to do in Gmail is set up some filters and search. So we talked a little bit about searching last week um, and getting more familiar with the advanced search options in Gmail and structuring how to look at the advanced details on an email can pull the threads together for you and you can process with, there's a, they put a advanced detail thread or um, other emails from that same person together um, in a sidebar and you can process that way. I find it a little less, easy to stay oriented in Gmail doing that, but it is possible. So get familiar, watch some YouTube videos about how to sort your mail in, in Gmail if you use Gmail, because making those decisions together is what's really going to help you process and see where things have gone awry in your signing up for things and cluttering up your own inbox. Um, okay, so is that all I wanted to say about it? Yeah. <laughs> um, really, it's, you know, there's some tricks to keeping on top of your email, regular processing, realizing that you're signing up for things, learning to process um, as quickly as possible by learning sorting, searching, and folder systems can be huge help. Anyway, next week, we'll move on to a new topic. We'll be done with the email stuff for now. And um, I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, share with all your friends. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.